Dr. Alfred Feisinger from Germany, who studied the fascial system for over 30 years. He has a new book out called The Extracellular Matrix, Colon, Ground Substance Regulation. But I want to give you the important nuggets that were in there from 30 years of research. What Dr. Feisinger said is there is no nerve or blood vessel that touches any one of the cells of our body, which completely obliterates the whole theory of medicine and therapy. So it turns out that the environment of the cell is the ground substance, the fluid of the fascia. So the problem is you hear all these nutritional theories and all this and that. The reason the fascia is also very healthy for you, because if you have fascia restrictions and the ground substance has solidified, no matter what you put in your mouth, it's not getting that the cells are restricted. They're dying. So it doesn't matter what you eat and how good the nutrition may be when you put it in your mouth. That's not nutrition. It's when it gets to the cell, it can enter the cell that the true nutrition occurs. Mm -hmm. Hydration is not when you just swallow water. It's when it gets into the cell. There's an article I've written called Pouring Water on a Stone. And if you pull around the stone, what happens? The surface gets wet, but it doesn't get in there. Mm -hmm. So if you can see my hands, think of the fascia system like a three-dimensional web, like a sieve. Now imagine you poured mud into the sieve. You can pour water now into the sieve. It's not going to go through because the mud is blocking it. That's the equivalent of a fascia restriction. You're also blocking the oxygen in every cell needs. The biochemistry, the hormones, the energy, the information, every cell desperately needs to thrive is being blocked. Your physiology is being thrown into total chaos. It's the most unhealthy thing in the world. Nobody's paying attention to it. You have to wake up. And healing is just that, awakening. You see, Channel 5, another word for Channel 5 is in psychological parlance is called consensus consciousness, which is sort of level we're talking at right now. Another word for consensus consciousness is trance. You and I have been in a trance. We thought we were so bright. So healing is breaking out of that trance, and that's what my specialty says as therapists first, and then allow you to do is wake up, to awaken. That's healing. That's why this is so important. And all the books in the world, all the self-help books, don't waste your money on these self-help books. They're telling you, oh, I feel good, I'm so happy, I'm so beautiful, and you're miserable inside. It's not until you get into these memories that were implanted in you early on from your education and parents and people who are well-meaning. You're walking around thinking you're stupid or you're bad or you're ugly, all sorts of things. You're not even aware of it. So without awareness, there's no choice. So as this awareness comes up from my fascia release, you can now change your belief systems more positive and more loving for you.